Kevin Russell with the Russell Roads Minute back with another episode here. I believe this is episode 122 or 123. Might be 123. We'll check on that. Either way, we're going to talk about the local agent today. What I So my point of this is when we go to a listing appointment, we speak to a seller or even we speak to a buyer, but we'll speak about the sellers at this particular point. The sellers typically say they want to hire a local agent. And my, my answer to that is, okay, no problem. What, what makes a local agent different than a non-local agent, right? Buyers find homes on the internet. That's where they look. They go to Realtor, they go to Truly, they go to Zillow, they go to whatever. Doesn't matter who listed the home. It ends up into the MLS and the buyer's going to find that. The buyer's going to find their agent who may not be local and is going to talk to that buyer agent about the house that you listed with the local agent. So my point is very few people move we'll just use north reading example very few people move from north reading to north reading if you're selling a north reading house which is april 27th uh 2022 i'm in north reading mass just about 20 miles north of boston if you watch this from wherever if someone's going to buy a north reading home it's typically not going to be a north reading buyer now there's a rare case where a north reading condo buyer or a move up buyer goes up to a house to stay in a school district there's a rare instance where someone is in North Reading, they want to move down, they move into a 55 plus, which you do have in town or something like that. But the majority of folks move from different town to different town. They don't move from North Reading to North Reading. And when you look at the MLS sold stats, you can see the agents that help the buyers who buy these homes. And they're from agencies all around the city, right? So a typical buyer who, if you're selling a home in North Reading, you're not typically going to find a North Reading buyer. And more importantly, the fact that the listing agent is local doesn't help the fact that the buyer agent is not local. So what's the advantage of hiring a list, a local listing agent? They know the town. Okay. They live in town. Okay. They, they've sold homes in your town. Okay. But the buyer agent is talking to the buyer and the buyer agent is going to sell the buyer on the product, not the listing agent. The listing agent's job is to market the home, make it available, deliver the information the best we possible can to a buyer. So does the agent need to know about the school system? Sure. Where it is? Sure. Bus routes? Sure. Where the grocery store is? Sure. Those types of things. But there's no advantage to marketing with the, with the local agent out, other than marketing with a regular agent. Okay, one last thing. If I'm in North Reading, maybe I can get into North Reading Parents Facebook group, right? Because I'm a resident there and I can get in and I may or may not be able to advertise in those groups. All the groups are different. But there's really no advantage to hiring a North Reading agent to, to sell a North Reading home, understanding that your buyer is going to come from a different spot to move into town. So what's the advantage? What you should be looking for is the maximum amount of exposure, professional pictures, floor plans, video, custom website, for the least amount of cost. Someone who's going to do the best job for you, expose your home the best possible way, is going to communicate with you the best possible way, regardless of whether they live in Linfield, Peabody, Salem, North Reading, Woburn, any of these towns around, doesn't matter. What you want to do is you want to find somebody you can communicate with you best, who's going to agree upon your sale price, who's going to market your home the best possible way. That's the best move for you. Doesn't matter if they live in the town you're selling or not.